Hi guys, today I want to talk with you about my favorite feature inside webmail and that is boards. So let's get into it. Some of you guys might be asking, what is a board? A board is a view that you can have inside Outlook webmail that you can customize exactly to your liking. You can add calendars, weather, notes, contacts, and more. And I want to show you guys how to use it today. So here I'm in my calendar view in Outlook for webmail. I'm in the work week view right now, but as you can see in this top banner here, there is also a board view. When I click on that, I have this custom board that I've created that you can drag and move around and you can add different tiles to it depending on what you'd like to see. You can have multiple boards. If you just click on this down arrow here, you can add different custom boards. You can zoom in and out by clicking this button in the bottom corner and you can make it smaller or you can increase the size depending on what you'd like. Whatever you set this to, Outlook is going to keep track of it. So if you want to put it at 75%, as soon as I log back on here, I'm going to see it again at 75% and it's going to continuously keep it there for me. So you can add a couple of things to this board. If you go to this button at the top banner that says add to board, you can see a few different options. All you have to do is click on one of those options. So let's say that I wanted to add a calendar. I can then choose between the different calendars that I have. Let's say I want to add my calendar. Then I'm going to select my calendar view and then it pulls it up here like this. Now I can take this and I can drag it to wherever I'd like on the board and I can also make it bigger or smaller. So I'm going to make this bigger. Something that's cool is when you add a calendar, you can click on it. You can click in this top area over here that says view and you can change it to a week, a work week, a month, a day, a specific day. Um, I'm going to change it to work week. That's what I usually have it set to. And you can also change the time zone. And you can also change this by clicking on the three dots here on the calendar. It has all of these settings right here as well. If you want to remove it from the board, then you would just click remove here or here and you can get rid of it. Now, if you want to save this view and lock the board to where you can't click on it and move it and mess it up, then you can click on this lock board icon here at the top banner. When I do that, there's no way to move these or jumble them around. They are locked into place then I can easily click unlock to unlock them and move these again. Something that I think is really awesome is if you use Task by Planner and you add different tasks here and you want to turn them into events on your calendar, all you have to do is click on the task, hover over this little area here to the left of the task until you see this hand pop up. When you see the hand pop up, you can drag that task onto your calendar and it can then become an event for you. I think this is so awesome and a really easy way to stay efficient um, while you're working. I hope you guys enjoyed learning more about the Outlook webmail board. Make sure to comment if you have any questions or tips and tricks from using it yourself. Make sure to like this button if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about Outlook boards. That way I can know and create more content for you guys. Also, make sure to subscribe so you're notified anytime we upload new content. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.